Hi guys! Um, so I'm just doing this video really quick to tell you that I quit smoking! Yay! I'm very very proud of myself um, and you know it's funny it's like I was like well should I do this video or not because it's not like my YouTube subscribers could smell the cigarettes on my breath or that they knew that I smoked because I never smoked on my videos or or anything like that and I don't think that I really look like a smoker or I don't know or sound like a smoker I, I don't know maybe I do maybe I do but anyways <laughs> um, I quit smoking and I quit smoking on August 8th I have this neat little app um, I have been 52 days smoke free Yay! I, and this is based on these calculations that you do where you put in what you pay for a pack of cigarettes, which is on average in the state I live in, about six dollars. Um, and I smoked about a pack a day. Um, some days not a full pack, but some days, you know, if I was very stressed or bored or maybe socializing a lot, Maybe it was more than a pack. Um, so according to this, I'll kind of reiterate, I quit on August the 8th and today is September the 30th. So that was exactly 52 days and 22 hours ago. I have not smoked a total of 1,058 cigarettes. Every time I look at this app and I picture a pile of 1,058 cigarettes, I like want to vomit. Like, it's unbelievable to think that 1,058 cigarettes, I mean, that would like, I don't know, it would fill up a big bag. Like, first of all, I'm not throwing those out anymore. I'm not flinging them in my backyard or uh, putting them out in an ashtray and having the ashes all over the place and the smell and everything else. And it's just, I'm not flinging them out my window when I'm driving. Um, this application, this app, also tells me that I've, I have regained four days of my life. Wow! <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's, it's a pretty awesome app. It's called Quit Now. Um, and then it also goes through and tells you that your sudden death, sudden death risk has lowered. The, your respiratory, respiratory function has been, has gotten back to normal levels. I am 58.80% um, back to having my physical condition improved. My heart disease death risk has been reduced by 14.50% and I have reduced my risk of developing lung cancer by 2.90%. Now all of those will grow. So I'll keep this on my phone for a long time, this application, just to kind of remind myself of why I quit. But the reason why I'm doing this YouTube video is if you smoke, which hopefully you don't, you know, there are, it's not a super popular thing to do anymore. Um, you know, it, <laughs> it, I don't know that it ever really has been since like Mad Men times. I don't know. Um, but people still do it. People still start smoking every single day for one reason or another. Um, I don't know why I did it. Uh, I like to smoke when I was around my friends. I like to smoke sitting outside at Starbucks having a coffee. I like to smoke outside of restaurants, outside of bars, in bars. That was definitely a big time when I was drinking. I would love to smoke cigarettes. Um, so I do have this thing called an e-cigarette which I don't have it with me, um, but I ha you can get like different levels of nicotine and I don't get, I have zero nicotine, it's just like a flavor. And they come in like all these fun flavors like blood orange or the, one, the ones I have are blood orange, Swedish fish, like the little red fish, and fruit stripe gum, um, so kind of like sweet flavors and um, zero nicotine, but it's like this vapor. So I carry it in my purse and you have to charge it every so often and I have a little adapter on my computer that I charge it to and then I take it out and about with me 
um, when I go to like um, when I go to places where I'm gonna be around other smokers because when I see other people smoking I still want to smoke sometimes it's not that way like when I'm walking into the mall and I can smell the people outside the mall smoking it makes me sick when I'm, and I've never noticed this before, when I'm sitting in traffic and there's a car in front of me and the person in it is smoking, it is so gross to smell. It is definitely true that the people that stop smoking are the worst non-smokers. Because I'm just, it stinks. It really, really smells. At first, it didn't smell. I wanted to smell it. Now, it definitely smells. Um... Like, in the beginning, when I would see one of my friends smoking and I was, like, out and about, I'd be like, mm, let me smell that. And then eventually it started to smell. So it's been 52 days now. So this is the longest I've ever quit before. I have quit for, like, a week or two here or there. More like just a week. Um, and then I would succumb to my needs and desires to smoke again. And this time I have not. It has been really, really hard, but I did it, and I am proud of myself. So if you are a smoker and you're struggling with um, trying to quit, you know, try an app like Quit Now or um, try an e-cigarette. Um, do whatever you can because it's a, it's a horrible habit. It is very damaging to your life and it is very damaging to the people around you that can smell it. Um, and it's expensive. Um, what was the amount that I've saved in money since I quit? Let me see. It was something like ridiculous. But you guys know that I like to spend money on things like clothes and makeup. I've saved $317. That's a lot of makeup and quite a few items of clothing in 52 days. So that's money in my pocket that I now have to spend that I was just throwing out the window previously. So um, if you need to quit, quit. But, you know, do it when you're ready. But if you have someone around you that you love that you know they're struggling to quit, you know, maybe tell them my story. So that's why I did this video. Love you. Bye, guys.